For this lesson, I'm going to review perimeter and area for a rectangle and a square. So let's begin with the perimeter. For the rectangle. Okay, so let's start with just perimeter. Okay, the idea of perimeter is that it's the total distance around the figure. So it's the outside edges. So for a rectangle, you can think of it as a length plus a length plus a width, plus a width, which simplifies to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So say, for example, that we were given that the length is 5 centimeters and the width was 2 centimeters. Okay? Then we could solve for the perimeter, saying 2 times 5 plus 2 times 2. Okay, order of operations, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, would give you a perimeter of 14 centimeters. Now looking at the square. Okay, the side length, S. And the, the special part about a square is that each side is congruent, is the same length. Therefore, the perimeter can be thought of as S plus S plus S plus S, or to simplify, 4 times the side length. So say, for example, that we were given the side length is 4 inches. Your perimeter for this square would be 4 times 4, which is 16 inches. And there's your perimeter. Now let's move on to area. Okay, area is talking about the amount of space okay, or surface that the object takes up. So for a rectangle, the area is equal to its length times its width. So the area for this example is 5 times 2, which is 10 centimeters squared. You're talking about the square centimeters that the rectangle is taking up. Moving on to the square, the area is a side times a side, which can be simplified to a side squared. For this example then, the area of this square would be 4 times 4, which is 16 inches squared. Okay. And that's an overview of the perimeter and area for a rectangle and a square.